It's been asked of me, how do you play jazz? If I'm a classical player, what should I do? How do I do this? How do I step into that doorway that is jazz? And so I was thinking, I have a student, Joe Hollinger, he's an orthopedic surgeon. He's been playing the clarinet several years, but he, he's not a jazz player and he wanted to know, he wanted to get loose. We all want to get loose so that we could have fun and we could be grooving instead of, oh, instead of so I'm going to go back to what I was saying before about what I did with my student Joe. And he wanted to play Over the Rainbow, so I went. So that was cool. He could play that pretty well. So I said, I thought, how, would, how could I get him to play this a little bit more jazzy? So I thought, I'm going to play it as though I were a big band writer and I'm writing it for a big band. So Joe had trouble with the He didn't know how to do that. So I said, just go. He could do that. Then I went, go. He could do that. So I said, how about Already his body opened up. He got loose. He felt more, more relaxed. And he was happy. And he had alpha waves flowing through his mind. He was ready to move to a monastery in Tibet with his clarinet. And he was just loving it. Suddenly a new thing happened. So as I was developing it, I thought of, okay, I could go, or he could, in the next lesson, just that little thing. I'm looser with my body. I'm starting to move like this, just like our classical teachers told us not to do when we're playing rose etudes. No, I'm having more fun. Joe's having more fun. And you don't have to be great at it to have fun. So that's kind of a way that I evolve. And I know that in about a month, Joe's going to be playing a jazz solo that I'm going to write out for him. And he's going to play this melody with all the cute little things in it. And he's going to be dancing around the room.